Okay, the video recorder is working. So, uh, another episode of the DIY directional coupler. And uh, a couple of small things with the uh, analog uh, VSWR meter. It has inbuilt bias, the bias control, and that's the uh, set a reference. And the scale reads backwards to VSWR1. It's no no power. And uh, also, there's two terminals here which have the uh, Schottky diode DC output voltage that's being read by the meter. But also, for those that want to do some calculations with the mathematics, uh, that's the 100% uh, reflected power. So I uh, set up, by the way, I meant to mention the other day that there's a LED here, 200 milliwatt, 5.8 gig VTX, and that's the, the power LED so you can tell whether it's powered up. So it's powered on fully on, it hasn't been on for long, so it's uh, slightly uh, drifting down in power. So why I have to keep adjusting the set of reference. Okay, this is the, uh, see if I can pick it up. So at the moment, by the way, there's uh, two detectors tonight. This is the uh, Mac Technology 10 dB coupler. And uh, I'll just pick this up, I hope. Okay, so what, the, what we've done today, whoops, is I've added the, uh, the coupled line. So on uh, this end here we have the uh, Schottky diode, the um, HSMS 286K and if you can't see it of course it's tiny but there's a 10 uh, nanofarad uh, SMD cap to ground and that red wire is the output from, from the diode. That's a uh, 0.01 disc ceramic, it's just extra filtering and the DC output comes down here on the load side is a 100 ohm termination and the line itself is the same length the length from there 37 millimeters 37 millimeters for this for the coupled line is spaced off the uh, back plane by 0.5 of a millimeter the wire itself is uh, 0 0.5 a millimeter diameter and I uh, so from telephone cable but I also think it's the same diameter as cat5 cable okay so uh, at the moment we're just looking at the uh, output of the Mac technology coupler so the load at the moment is none basically the output power and I meant to mention too by the way guys there's a um, 6 dB attenuator it protects the VTX because I run no load no antenna or anything at the output so uh, it just protects the VTX from high VSWR. I think I mentioned that that's the power on lead. Um, right, so at the moment we've just got 100% reflected power, open circuit, back through the line into the detector. Off to the meter, set reference uh, 1.7 volts, and um, it's all adjusted too, by the way. You won't be able to see it, maybe, but the through line. As I said, I believe there's a, a mismatch termination, mismatch between the coaxial cable and the uh, through line, and just a bit of a uh, blister pack plastic at both sides, and they've been pulled in and out, so it's been adjusted, so I won't do it again now. Okay, a secondary line, the, the coupled line, by the way, has got just a tiny bit of um, plastic tucked under the uh, the coupled area. So we'll put the uh, dummy load. This is the 20 dB attenuator with this gold uh, termination. Unspecified frequency, it's actually junk, but the attenuator is very good. 20 dB is a return loss of uh, 40 dB, which is a better spec than most uh, terminations. Right, so we'll uh, connect the uh, load right so uh, all power 